everyone deserves a cheat day especially my married friends keep watching to find out what i'm talking about hey there it's kyla denanyo and today on kyla's reading day i am talking about the book cheat day First of all, can we get into the cover? So I like to choose a lot of my books by their cover. And I saw the cover and I'm like, cheat day, double entendre, because the cake is in the shape of a heart, but then also it's cake. And when you think cheat day, for me, my mind initially goes to food and then you're cheating because now you're eating. So I'm like, gotta read it, let's find out. There will be spoilers, there typically are. And yeah, it's cheat day, meaning all of those things. I'm trying not to jump ahead and follow my seven steps of the things I go through in Kyla's reading day, but like, I'm so excited. This book was exceptional. Title of the book, Cheat Day. The author of the book is Liz Stratman. And the third thing is the genre of the book. This was a fiction novel. And then also the theme of the book is situation comedy or sitcom or romantic comedy, because there were all these quirky situations that the characters would get themselves into, but overall it was a romantic book and bonus there were a bunch of really great characters this book had exceptional character development kit who was wonderful the grandmother who we never well we get a couple of flashbacks of her but she's not a prominent character but she was technically the fifth character she was always running along in the storyline it was awesome and I know that there's good character development when the story ends and I can imagine how I think everyone's life was still progressing when I can say oh I bet this person is doing that oh I bet that character is doing this that's when there's really good character development so excellent character development in the book cheat day so there was not a really big plot twist not one that I saw I'm gonna nope I'm gonna take that back I kept expecting Kit to have an affair with Violet and I'm not gonna go any further than that you got to read the book to understand but she was so enamored with this woman I really thought that would have been the person that she cheated with we hadn't gotten to any kind of an affair or cheating or anything but the way that she talked about Violet I really thought something was about to happen with Violet so actually that was a bit of a plot twist because I was not expecting I mean what happened again it was predictable to me in the best way ever and I say that because I'm a person who watches a lot of situation comedy movies a lot of romantic comedy movies so I was like oh this is gonna happen oh I hope that happens oh that's gonna happen next and those were the types of things that happened but yeah if I had to put a plot twist it would be that there were not any quotes that I had to just stop listening to the book and jot them down but there were a lot of situations that happened in the book that made it especially relevant to me so that takes us right on to the next point you are you're gonna laugh at me when I say this you are I'm just gonna say it I'm gonna just put it out there this book was one of the best descriptions of marriage and some of the mundane realities of marriage that I've read in a while and I say that with respect <laughs> because when I talk to my friends about marriage I already have this funky cool feather wearing I already have all of this going on I enjoy the routine of marriage I enjoy some of the things that you would consider to be mundane who's gonna do the laundry why do I always have to do the laundry or hey you're out of shirts it's not my responsibility to have the shirts but I usually take care of the laundry look I bought you extra shirts I keep them hidden for the chance that we're both busy and don't do laundry right like I was like I could see myself doing that and I really appreciated that because I'm one of the first friends in my close group to get married and you know you still have a lot of friends that are still really romantic and they're like oh my god this lovey-dovey thing and then there's other people who are kind of realists and I'm like I kind of I, I get why you want both sides but I really like the realist side of being married the romantic part is exceptional but that also is not every day every day is bills laundry what are we gonna eat why are you hogging the remote or turn down the TV because I'm listening to a book sitting next to you on the couch and I enjoy that none of those things are meant to be sad <laughs> 
another reason why this book was really important to me is because I am going through some personal issues where my doctor gave me a surprising health announcement. Not gonna get all into it, but you can watch the videos in the playlist. And then I get this health scare. My doctor's like, can you change the way you eat for the next three months to improve your health? I can, it's within my control, I will, but man. So now the idea of cheat day and with the book cover having cake on it, I was like, wow, processed sugar is one of the things I'm trying to cut out. Let's see how she is dealing with this. And that was a portion of the book as well. So this book was perfect for me right now. It really rang true and I absolutely loved it. And now I can tell you about the part I've been waiting to get to. I would reread this book immediately. I would start the book again tomorrow if I was not already in the middle of another book. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and let me know if you've read any books by this author, Liz Stratman, if you read any books similar to this and what you think about it, right? Let me know what's a book that you're reading and give me a recommendation on what should be my next read. So until next week, this was Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.